Raiders. Facts. Come on, baby, Cali, let's go. Cali, Raiders, Cali, East Oakland, Cali, seven train, honey. I'm an Oakland Raider. Cali, we out in Vegas, though. We in Vegas like the Raiders. Raider Nation, what's up? What's up, Raider Nation? Man, I just decided to do a quick video because I posted on uh, Facebook saying our coaching sucks. And when I was saying that, I'm talking about the entire coaching staff. If you think about the ways that we've lost games and also the ways our players have gotten beaten on defense, I think it's a coaching thing more than anything because the philosophy of the teach it wrong or if, even if you don't really teach it because it, sometimes it ain't about you teaching it wrong. You just ain't teaching it. So if you don't teach the little details, the nuances of the, the type of formation you're in, then the player going to be out of position. And I've watched so much film these last couple of days because I've just been frustrated. But I've watched – some film, man, and I'm actually, I'll be posting that soon, too. It, actually, I might get to post that after this. I'll edit it and add it to this. But watching some of the film, showing how players just look like they have no idea where they're supposed to be. Or they might know where they're supposed to be, but they're worried about the next man not being where they're supposed to be. So now you got... A man looking in the backfield when he should be watching his man-to-man -man coverage or a man chasing a player when he was supposed to stay zoned and let that player he's chasing go to the next defensive player. But anyway, I don't want to get all technical because that's the one thing. I'm not so technical about it anyway. But just looking at the footage and realizing that it's there's a lack of communication. There's a lack of uh, understanding. And then it, it, it's on both sides of the field, man. It ain't just defense. You look at that offense and you think about the weapons we have and you think about the quarterback we had, Carr, and ain't no way in God's green earth we're not scoring 30 points per game. It's just no way. I don't care what defense we're playing against. We always seem to find um, the player in the open area or uh, – uh, in the soft zone that we could at least get these first downs and then what happened red zone we can't score in the red zone so I think our scheme and our uh, play calling just has been terrible and it's it's proof is in the pudding when you look at the plays we run go back look at this season just this season alone go back and look at our red zone attempts and it's I could almost just tell you exactly what play we getting ready to run almost every time. Go back and check it out. I'm going to add some film footage to the end of this. It's going to mostly be defense because that's my biggest gripe is our defense. But I'm definitely working on putting on uh, a complete offense, defense, and special teams uh, footage so you can see how horrible I believe we're being coached. Most of these guys – they go to another team. They go play somewhere else under uh, different coaching staff. They'll be stars, man. I'm telling you. Offense, defense, and special teams. And I ain't hating. I love the Raiders. I've been a Raider fan for over 40-something years, man. I'm just tired of losing. So, you know, if you want to call me a hater or a fake fan or whatever, you know, I could care less. I couldn't care less. <laughs> Hashtag Cliff Rowe. <laughs> but anyway, real talk, man. I'm just sick of losing. Come November, December, we seem to fall apart. And I'm putting this on Gruden, man, and the rest of his coaching staff. And with his 10-year contract, shoot, they got to fix this. And it need to be fixed next year because they ain't – I don't think anything's going to change this year. My hopes was that we'd go 10 and 6 this year, and that's out the window. Um, I really couldn't say if we're going to do 9 and 7. Best I could see us doing is 8 and 8 because, you know, up against Denver, we might win that game. But Miami coming in hungry, man. So let's see what's going on, man. Raider Nation, one love. Hey, like, subscribe, and follow me, Global Raider Nation. And uh, I'll be on Facebook and on YouTube. Also, I'm on Instagram, man. But one love. Just had to do this quick little footage. 
little video real quick while it was on my mind. Peace out, Raider Nation. All love. It's not just a coincidence. It is it is a trend, and there are things that, that have gone wrong that I think are directly coaching. And so I want to talk about them. A lot of it is defense, so I'll start off with the defense, but I will get into some specific John Gruden criticisms as well because he deserves them, quite frankly. Like, let's take a look at this play to start off. So this is, again, defensive play. The way it works for the Los Angeles Chargers is it's going to be a zone coverage play in their running play action. They have multiple receivers who will run routes that could get open against this type of coverage because the hope on a play like this is that you can get linebackers out of position. Now, if a good defense was going up against this, they wouldn't get too far out of position and would figure out what the Chargers are doing and cover it up. This is not a good defense that's going up against uh, the, the, the Chargers. So Herbert is going to take the snap, fakes the handoff, and first I want to show the player that Herbert doesn't actually look towards. This is the read he's not making, but if you see, I mean, there's clearly an opening right here for Herbert to make the throw because the Raiders player who's in charge of covering the zone that the Chargers player is getting into is basically at the line right now. When I first saw this play, I thought it was a, uh, just, it looked like it was like, okay, this is a zone blitz. It isn't. He just got completely fooled. Meanwhile, over there, I've put those two players in boxes right there. This is a clear example of guys just not understanding their jobs on a certain zone coverage play. Because clearly what you should do is these should be flipped. The two Raiders players who they're going after, they should be going after the opposite person. The whole point of zone coverage is you're going to have someone in the area to try and make a play. But again, here, that's not really what they're doing right now. They're kind of doing the opposite, where they're now just way out of position. Whereas if they just switched off and were going after the other player, it'd be really, really difficult for Herbert to make a throw in this direction, and he probably wouldn't be able to. Instead, this results in an easy completion because there's basically two zones completely taken out of that play, and both of the players that Herbert could have thrown to were wide open. There was only two options on that play other than a check down. There was really just two players down the field he wanted to throw to, and they both got open when you have six defenders in the area. That just can't happen. I definitely think something I'll tackle this offseason is what in the world happened to Corey Littleton because he just makes so many mental mistakes out there, and here's one right here. It's cover two zone right here, and he's in charge of covering the zone that a receiver is running about into, but what's interesting about this route is it's clearly picking on Corey Littleton. They clearly saw something in tape, and they're trying to take advantage of that. So Herbert takes the snap, and you see Littleton. He's kind of facing Herbert right here. He's looking at Herbert, but he also feels as though the receiver who's in his zone right now is going to continue running further down the field. And so he wants to be able to continue to take away that route while at the same time continuing to look at Herbert which is really difficult to do, quite frankly. It, it can result in guys getting open, but it's not the end of the world because in zone, you, you do want to look at the quarterback as much as possible. What you have to do, though, if you're Littleton, is you have to stop right here. You have to know where your help is behind you, see that he has plenty of help behind him, and don't be worried if the receiver he's covering continues to run deep. You just stay where you're at, maybe even move in a little bit. However, he continues running, thinking that's where the route is going, and it results in an easy completion. But you can't do that. Yes, I understand why he thought it was going to be a further ran route. And, you know, good job by the Chargers. That's a, a fun idea to take advantage of someone's own mishaps. But at the same time, you just got to be smarter than that. And you got to know where your help is. And to me, that's by far and away the most frustrating part of this Ra Raiders defense is they don't know where their help is. And they don't know when to pass guys off and when not to. I fully realize this is not John Gruden. John Gruden's the offensive guy, but I'm still talking about this stuff because A, I want to talk about the failures from coaching all across the board, and B, because you do have to blame Gruden to some degree for his inability to get a good defensive coordinator that can help coach these guys. This sequence was just so frustrating. So it's going to be right here. It's a cover six that the Raiders are in. So very similar to a cover three. The exception is that you have three players deep, but it's almost like you're playing uh, cover four on one side of the field and then cover two on the other side of the field because there's one safety in charge of covering the side of the field on the bottom of the screen and there's going to be two players who are in charge of covering deep on the top half of the screen so that's kind of how that works the chargers have two eligible receivers on that side of the field a player running deep and then they're just going to have someone chip uh, max crosby and then just run out to the flat that's how this is going to work so for las vegas you have two players in that side of the field. And while the safety can't totally just 
you know, completely run over and abandon the middle of the field. He kind of can actually because he knows he has help further deep. So he can be a lot more aggressive than you typically would if it was just a regular cover too. So Herbert takes the snap and you see both players over the middle are going to allow the uh, first charger who's running deep just to pass him. They're giving him to the safety. So that's what they believe their assignment is. And they can run up and make a tackle on a check down route if necessary. The issue with this is that for Las Vegas, their safety is so far deep. I mean, he's 20 yards down the field. So there's going to be a huge window for Herbert to be able to make this throw. And this is what I mean by guys just don't know what their job is. There's several ways you can do this. There's several rules you can have, but there should be a rule here. People should know, okay, the safety's going to crash down and try and make this play. Or a linebacker should then run upfield and stay deep with him. When you look at the good zone defenses that have come about these past few years it's a, it's just knowing the rules that's what it really is and always knowing where you have help you look at the Chicago Bears defense when they play zone they're tremendous at that you know think about the San Francisco 49ers defense last year and how good they were at it the Raiders are really bad at it and when you're bad at this you're not going to be able to have success in the NFL Watch, once it gets further, I mean, he gets even more wide open because they have a late reaction, and that's a huge chunk play just like that, and it would get worse on the very next play, not because the very next play would actually be worse, but because it would be the exact same thing. Like, look, literally, it's the same concept, so th they're not changing anything right here. Same defensive play, same offensive concept on that side of the field. And once Herbert takes the snap, what you notice is the same thing happening. I mean, this is, it, it looks like, if you didn't see the end zone in this frame, you'd think I'm just showing you the same play, play twice. I mean, this is ridiculous and it can't happen, especially because now you look at the two players over the middle of the field this time. It's a, a defensive back and a linebacker. They're both turning their backs towards the check down. So at this point, if you're turning your back towards the check down, go deep. At least one of you should go deep at this point and make Herbert have to throw it over you. Yeah, this is a pretty good concept against this type of coverage regardless, and there probably will be a window for Herbert to make the throw, but make it difficult for him. Don't give him a wide open player, and instead, that's exactly what's going to happen. They pass him off completely. A safety can't make it in time, and in two plays, they get entirely down the field, running the exact same concept twice. How do you let that happen again? You just get beat because someone didn't understand their, their job. How do you not have a conversation immediately after saying, hey, whose job is it to do that? Okay, it's yours. Here's what we do. Fine. Now we know how to stop it. There's several ways you can do it, but the fact that they're not all on the same page is a real issue. Yo, L, we got one, Brody.